What is up everybody? This is your host SuperSai and welcome back to another video. Now in this video I'm going to be making a computer worth 1200 US dollars. Now I'll be doing this on user benchmark. A few things to note, I am not a computer expert, I'm doing this for fun and yeah take what I say with a grain of salt. Second of all, this only includes the CPU, GPU, SSD, HDD, and RAM. It does not include the motherboard, the power supply, the case, or the monitor. And so, yeah, without further ado, let's get rid of me like ka -choo. Okay, I watched Ratatouille last night. It was a good movie. Okay, there we go. So, we're going over to here, and let's start the build. So, it will be kind of similar to yesterday's one in that. We'll have a couple of you know, slight upgrades in that, but one of this one's going to include all five of those parts, and this one's going to exclude the GPU. Okay, so CPU, we're going to, we're going to start off strong with a good old, this one right here, like that, ka -chow. Now let's go to GPUs, let's go to, there we go down to show all prices, and we go to value like boom, and then we come down here, there we go, see this was the one I got, so it was actually pretty good value, 15th in that. So, and that's, because if we go to ones that have an at least 80, oh, that one there, that's for, oh, wait, no, no, that's average benchmark, average benchmark of, like, about that, boom, there we go, so, this is a one right there that I got for my, my personally for myself in that, which is actually pretty good value, you know, considering, I mean, these ones here are better value than that. You know, although this one he was older, that's why I wanted this one over that one, because it was an older model than that. But still, there we go, if we compare these two like so, and we'll just wait for that to load. Yeah, I mean, that one's 2017 in that, so, yeah, that one there. Oh, see, that's faster at that, so, yeah, but anyway, okay, back to here. Right, okay, so, the one we're going to go for is, oh yeah, because we could upgrade it to that one, they're very similar, aren't they? There we go. Let's stick with this one for now. There we go. So we'll go with that one. We'll copy that and we'll go across here and we'll chuck in the cheeky GPU. Okay, there we go like that. And ka -chow. Now the RAM, I know which RAM we're going for. Coming over here and we go to value and there it is right there. A solid we buy. That's super solid. Okay, there we go back here. Although, yeah, no, that's that one. Okay, there we go. RAM. We'll chuck that like so. Boom, so 1,200, remember. Oh, there's actually five people that have used this. Good lads, good lads. Okay, there we go. Let's go to SSD. There we go for the value. Do we have enough to jump up into the next one? I'm not sure if we did or not. Uh, I reckon we'll just we'll just go for it and that. Just, there we go. I think we should have enough. There we go, like this. And like this. Bam, bam. There we go. Boom. Oh, someone actually has this! What a legend! What a legend! That person there, what a legend. When did they do it? Lots of them are so recent in that. I guess there's probably exponential amount of tests in that, but this person here, what a legend. Oh, you know, this this is a, a person of fine taste. There we go. <laughs> the same that one, same that one. There we go, same that one, same that one. What? That's literally it! Oh my goodness, that literally, this person, this person, shout out to this person right here, that is awesome, that is absolutely awesome, there's literally one person that has bought the exact model right here, the exact model, the same CPU, GPU, SSD, RAM that I just chose without knowing that someone had done that, that, I just think it's so funny in that, there's just like, the chances of that, I mean, that's awesome, there we go, this person got this exact same setup, good on them. Good on them. They didn't get an HDD, so how much do we have left? So about $1,060. Okay, there we go for the HDDs. There we go, and then we go to value, and we want to go to... We might as well have one that has solid capacity. Try that, bam. Oh, 160. Okay, there we go. That doesn't leave us with many options, does it? Okay, let's drop the price right down. Like that, boom. Whoa, okay, not many options at all. Okay, there we go. So... Yeah, 156, technically. Okay, there we go. So these are our options. Uh, see, that's... I mean, come on. We have to go with that. Oh, but that one's so much faster. Oh, I'm not sure if NAS works or whatnot, but this one... Oh, that's only had 80 samples. That's a bit sketchy. There we go. So this versus this. Boom. So this one here is much faster, like 20% faster, which is solid in that. But it does have 2 terabytes less in that. Plus it's only had 80 samples, although it is newer. But since we have an ultra-fast SSD, I don't think we need to have like an HDD that's a little bit faster. I, I'd definitely rather go with this one right here. Have an extra 2 terabytes of storage for like the same price. For $2. Save $2 a 
d save a dollar per terabyte. So I'd rather go with this one here, because even though this one's faster, the, the SSD would be using the SSD, which has a whole terabyte, by the way, for all that kind of stuff. There we go, we'll come over here. So shout out to that one person like there. And there we go, like that, bam, right there. And that there would be such a solid design. Like, I would be, I'd be overjoyed with a design like that. Like, that is just absolutely insane. Nuclear submarine for gaming, desktop 145%, workstation 100%. 142% like that right there is just absolutely super duper solid. Wait, if I just get rid of that again, there we go. Where do they place on this max? Wait, they're above the max. Okay, that so yeah, that's obviously a really good design. But yeah, that is just absolutely insanely good. Now I guess we could get a cheap one because what was the the GPU? There was one that we could got that was slightly more. There we go, that one there. Could have spent an extra an extra few dollars. There we go for that one, which wouldn't be a bad option. There we go, like. There we go, 2 nah, it's pretty negligible. I mean, 8% for the overclock, but I, I'm not an overclocker, and probably most, most, well, probably, I mean, most people watching this video maybe are overclockers and that, but the average given Joe Blogs is not going to overclock it, so 2% value, I mean, yeah, for 35 bucks and that, I don't know, I don't know, because it's like, well, $35 for just 2%, but it's like, yeah, 2% is a little bit of an increase, especially if you're going to have the computer for, like, five years, to spend, like, literally $35 to get 2%, I don't know, I could, I could yeah, like, yeah, I don't know, I don't know, I mean, I mean, it sounds like, well, $35, that's so much for 2%, but it's like, yeah, but 2% over the course of five years, that, that might actually be quite helpful in that, but, and, you know, it does, like, 9% better at that if you're using that or whatnot, but, yeah, although that one's faster for that, or more, on oh, recent than that, but, yeah, if, so, yeah, I don't know, 35, I don't know, that's US dollars, though, so it is a but, but, yeah, anyway, um, probably, probably not, to be honest, but, yeah, it's, it's similar. There we go. Although, yeah, see the value drops in that. But right, that right there is absolutely insane. Like, is that what I would get? Is that what I would get? I probably would. I actually probably would. If I had, like, 1,200 US dollar budget, I'd get probably that right there. That right there is the one I would get with a $1,200 budget. That, like, and literally this year is about right, because, you know, it's starting to get, like, it's a solid amount. Of, like, this year is sort of, it all sort of complements, like, as in, for some of the other designs, having two times sixteen gigabyte RAM was excessive. Like we didn't need that for like ones where the where the, you know the other stuff wasn't as good. But now that all these other parts are pretty good, having that much RAM is like solid. Like this year, like yeah, probably in the history of like when I do these future videos, like you know making a one thousand three hundred dollar one, a one thousand four hundred dollar one, a one thousand five hundred dollar one. And if someone asked me what one would you recommend, you know. I would, I'd probably say this one right here, this one right here, is the design I recommend. Like, it's, it's not, we're not, it's not way too pricey, we're not getting into, like, the $2,000 range, and it's not, like, trash, where it's sort of, like, $500 in that. Which, I mean, the $500 one was alright, but it's not very good. You know, whereas this here is just an absolutely solid one. I'd say it's probably in the top 5%, I don't know, I don't know, because, like, you know, it looks like lots and lots of people have really good CPUs on user benchmark, but generally people testing their computers regularly would be people that have high CPUs in that, so, I don't know, I would say there's probably one of the top 5% of computers in the world, and this one here would last a solid 5 Maybe 10 years, but it's too hard to predict 30 years in the future as to what requirements and all that the computer will need in that. But, I mean, that there, with that's, like, insanely good. That's, like, I'd say twice as good as my computer, if not three times as good. Probably twice. No, I reckon, oh, it'd probably be over, it'd be maybe, like, 2.5 times. Like, I mean, the RAM is double, you know, the HDD is, like, four times, although that's, yeah. Uh, SSD, I think that's double, you know, and the CPU is, like, like, well, the, the GPU would be more than double. Well, it depends on what thing with CPU. But anyway, that right there is an absolutely solid, wonderful design that I would highly recommend. And I mean, you know, it's like, with this year, the benchmark, you know, yeah, the value-wise, I mean, you could probably get a slightly bit of value HDD in that, but as in, that's like, the, that's the cheapest part. Of, that's crazy, the RAM's cheapest, and the RAM's super, super important. I'd say the RAM's more important than all the extra space. Like, most people would rather have more RAM than have, like, an extra four terabytes of space in that. Yeah, that's so still the the cheapest part in that. Though these three are all pretty similar in that, you know, in price kind of, and then that one's a bit more expensive, and that one's sort of in the middle in that, but that's pretty good. That's pretty good GPU price, I I'd say. I think that's that's a pretty solid one. So yeah, I personally went with, with this, not that one, with this one here, this one here. Wait, how, why are we sort of, like, why is it up there now? Average benchmark. Wait, what? How do we, what filter do we put on that? Value. Oh, we sorted it by value. Wait, really? Wait, so if we reset that and we go by 
value. Boom. There we go. My one was... Oh, wait. No, not. Wait. Where is my one? Uh, yeah, 10th. That's 10th. So my one's actually pretty good. This one's even better. This one's 5th. But either way, those two are both really good value ones. I personally went for this one here. But, you know, that one there. That, that one's better value. It is better value. But, yeah, they're both they're both really good options. So I went with this one and that. But, yeah, they're, they're all really, really good. So anyway, that that's... That's a cool wee design we we did. Uh, okay, there we go. We'll put that the average benchmark back to like 70% about there. Bam, like that. Okay, yeah, because you can sort of jump up to higher ones than that. Like, where is the sort of... There we go, because there are the different benchmarks in that. I was... What one was I thinking of getting? I was thinking of getting up to this one here. That was the one, the maximum one I was going to get. But that one... I'm pretty sure that one, they didn't have it for that price. Like, that was on eBay or whatnot. And they didn't have that one. So, and I wanted to get in the video. So then I ended up going with this one here. Like, I was going to get that one, but they didn't really have it. I wanted to get that one, didn't really have it. So I was like, okay, let's get this one. There we go. Da -da. No, I didn't consider that. Oh, it's too expensive in that. But yeah. So this is my third choice in that. And if they hadn't had that one, I probably would have just jumped to, like, that one right there, the AMD one. But anyway, that all, yeah. So I'd say, yeah, those top six are all wonderful options. Those those ones there, those six, because they're like high benchmarks, so they're high quality, and they're still pretty good value in my opinion in that. So yeah, they, those ones there would be all ones that I'd be very very happy to buy. Okay, there we go. So that will do. And I guess you could argue maybe that one as well. I'm not sure. It depends on your point of view in that, because yeah, if you have like four thousand dollars spent on computer, you'd be like, oh yeah, forty five percent value is still wonderful. Like you'd be like, I just wouldn't drop below twenty percent, for example. Whereas me, I'm like, I don't really want to drop below fifty percent value. Like I want like, and relative to use the benchmark in that, I want things that are like very good value, you know, but still really high quality. So these here, these six would definitely be if I had to choose a GPU these six would be my go-to. Like, any of these six, I would be happy with. Any of those six are really, really good value. So, yeah. Anyway, there we go. That is that. So, that's... I'm, so, oh, I'm just so happy. It's like, I, we can just stop the video now. It's just such a wonderful creation we've just made. Okay, there we go. Let's go to CPU. There we go. And we already know which one we're going to get, but I always forget which one it is. So, we've got average benchmark. Bam. And it is this one right here. Okay, there we go. Which is a really good one. There we go. But we need it because the the... That one there, which I really like, there we go, requires the a, a GPU in that, whereas this one that we're about to add does not require a GPU. Eventually, we would upgrade that to the 3550, but we still have a bit of room, like, we can still get that to 12 terabytes, and we can get this to 2 terabytes, so that's, like, $400, so that's, like, two episodes worth of upgrading it, and this one here will be, like... Maybe another... Th so, they're, like, four. So, that will, like, for ages, we'll just keep with that. And eventually, we'll up upgrade the GPU and CPU. But, pardon me. These cool... It's it's a good amount, uh, these $100 increments and that. There's always, like, one or two things that we can upgrade to make it just the slightest bit better. Oops, what I do? Nope, that was not the one where... There we go. There we go. That's the... These are not the droids you're looking for. Okay, boom. So, this one here, we'd have an extra $300 to spend on other stuff. So, we spent 100 extra on that. But then we have $200 to spend on these things here. So I'm already thinking, it's like, the RAM would just copy that. We do not need more than that much RAM. Okay, there we go. So, that gives us two options. Either we can get a, probably about a 12 terabyte HDD, or we can get a 2 terabyte SSD. Ooh, both are really good options. Okay, let's, let's weigh them up. Okay, boom. And then we go to, it's actually a good value one as well. Oh, okay, and then we'll reset the filters. There we go, like, Kachow. Value. There we go, Bam. And it is this one right here. Yeah, it's uh, wait 360. And how much is that? Yeah, 360. Okay, yeah. I reckon I'd probably, I personally would rather have the four extra terabytes of that than rather have a two terabyte SSD. That's it, a two terabyte SSD. The, and this is this version here, but it's one up. But yeah, I, I'd I'd go with this one here to be honest. I think this one here is an absolute. Oh, in fact, we don't even. Well, I, it's the first one. If you go to HDD. Click here. There we go. What do you know? Right there. There we go. Boom. There we go. And then we uh, bring that right there across. And kachow. So give or take $14. It's just a little bit. I normally, like, yeah, I normally sort of give it a little bit of leg room. You know, within a, a, a reasonable range. Just a tiny bit different. But yeah, that right there is what I would get if I did not have a, if I, yeah, so basically, yeah, so definitely rather this one here. Wait, why did that go up? Hmm, I think something must have just changed the price or whatnot. But yeah, this one here, 
the, I definitely rather that one, hundred percent. Like four terabytes extra, you know. For like, you might as well just buy a GPU with that, you know. Like, there's no like, I, I four terabytes extra for ninety nine percent of cases, people would not need those extra or want those four terabytes versus having a GPU in that. And I don't even like this this one as much. I mean, this one here is still wonderful. Like, if you had a computer with this, it would be absolutely wonderful. But in terms of live streaming, which is what I'm all about, I'd rather this one here. That said, even for people that don't live stream, this one here would be about as good for that, depending on your task, and then, no, well, this one here would probably, yeah, okay, let's compare them, this one here would be better, there we go, at, but, I mean, so negligible, there we go, like, well, it's, I mean, 70% that, these here, 4%, 4%, 5%, .5%, barely, barely noticeable, 1%, definitely not noticeable, I mean, maybe you could notice, I don't know, but as it, yeah, as just extra, and overclocking, overclocking, but, again, I, I don't worry about overclocking, because most people that, most given people do not overclock their computer. I have no idea how, like, I, I kind of get the general gist of how it works, but as in, I would have no clue how to do it, and I don't intend to do it, you know, okay, there we go, but yeah, so that's all very, very negligible, you know, and for all this stuff, it just beats it, really, yeah, I mean, this, I just honestly think it's just not worth it, eh, and for 100 extra dollars as well, it's got four less cores, yeah, I definitely, I mean, that's got way more votes than that, for that one there, you know, I'd definitely go with this one. Even for the average person, I'd go with this one. I just don't think that... Was, that, that set... That ranks higher because of, like, effective speed or whatnot. That said, I would still be super, super, duper happy. See, interesting, 99% for the desktop. So, it's higher for gaming. It's higher for desktop, but it's lower for workstation, and I'm sort of more using it as a workstation. Well, I mean, I'm kind of using it for all of them, but not really gaming. But, yeah... Uh, yeah, not gaming. Probably not gaming on that one. Although, but who knows? I might record a video about gaming on it. But yeah, I personally would definitely recommend this to to, to anyone. Even though that I would be super happy to have this as my computer, like as my CPU. I'd be like, that's awesome. But I would recommend to people to buy this one here because it's got more cores, more threads. You know, effective speed and and average score. This one is better in that. But for the 64 core. 44% more is a solid increase in that for other stuff in that. But both of them are very, very good options in that. It's crazy because, like, you know, like, one doesn't spend much on the CPU. Like, for example, I went, oh, no, but these all came out after I bought my computer in that. So... There wasn't actually that many op. Oh, yeah, I want to I wanna check something out. But, yeah, anyway. So, I'd definitely rather this because the four extra terabytes and effectively a worse CPU. Well, yeah, I would say worse. I prefer the CPU, in my opinion, in that. For, for certain things, obviously, this is slightly better in that. And $100 more. Definitely go for this one in that. So, this one here is a computer I definitely have. But if you didn't. I mean, yeah. <laughs> Oh, no, because you can't, as I was say, you might as well just get this one and just get rid of that and save money in that, because, yeah, but I mean, this one here, you would have a bigger HDD in that, these here are still, well, this would be, still be an Apple computer, but even for, even for a non-gamer, I'd, 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 I'd recommend this one. Yeah, oh, there's $200 extra for that. Hmm, because, I mean, I just think, because, yeah, because, like, they could just, like, that there is, is more, it's $100, $200 extra in that, for, but the GPU, I mean, they might as well have a GPU, even if they're not a gamer. You know, I'm sure it would help in some ways, you know. I, I mean, I, I, yeah, because that one's, I'd say, I don't know, I don't know, because, you know, they could just drop that and, yeah, they could get a $1,000 model if they went with this, but they just kept that one right there, that HDD, and go for a $1,000. I think that's probably what we did for the $1,000 model. Okay, so what I wanted to check is if we got a CPU, because I'm always like, well, I might as well go with, you know, if you're going to spend that much on a, on a CPU, you might as well go for, you know, one that has an ultra-high bench, if the highest is like $500 in that, you know, but I have to think of one. So I was, so when did I get my computer? In about 20, July 2018... So the parts would have had to be out by June 2018. Oh, so exactly 24 months ago. See, so all these wonderful things, I'm like, this one's good, this one's good, this one's good, this one's good. None of these even existed. You know, it was 24 months ago. So the first, th not even this one existed. So, I, you know, I'm like, oh man, I wish I got a better CPU in there. But half of these didn't even exist. Mm, $15, I am very, very skeptical about that. <laughs> I'm extremely skeptical about that. $15. Eh, that will be second hand. There's no way that's 15 bucks. Wait, because, yeah, that will, that will just skew the value thing. If we click on value, that will come up first. Yeah. <laughs> okay, but anyway, average pitch. But all these things that I thought, man, I wish you'd had all of these CPUs. Like, why did I stick with the other one? Because none of these were out, really. So this one here will be mid-2018. Then we go like that. So not even that one. So there, if we go 24 months, all these ones that I think are absolutely wonderful. Oh, that one still exists. Oh, and that one was not far above the one I currently have. Okay, there we go. So, let's go, and we say, there we go, so, 
price, no average, so there we go, at least 24, uh, 23 months, okay, there we go, like, bam, there we go, and yeah, most of those, and they, oh, let's go, no, let's go 24, one more month, there we go, so exactly, because, yeah, exactly two years ago, there we go, so all of these wonderful ones, that I was like, man, I wish I had that one, I wish I had that one, you know, I wish the person that you know, had designed it got me that one, but it's like, actually, most of these weren't even out, so, half of these ones, yeah, so the highest one was that, and I got, hmm, where's my one? Oh, this one here. So I got the 13th best CPU. And yeah, that was like... See, these ones here, like $900. Like, yeah. Wait, so there are $900 CPUs in that. So, yeah. So, yeah. So technically, I could have got one of these ones instead in that. But who knows? That one might have been on special or whatnot. But yeah, it was like the 13th best... 13th best CPU based on average benchmark at the time in that. So, like this one here. Boom. And, like, half of these ones weren't even that much better. Like, if we go to, yeah, like, let's say the, this one here, there we go, boom. This one's a popular one. There we go. 11% better. So, I mean, that's, that's a little bit, you know, but and, and the prices would not have been like that and that at the time. There we go. But, yeah, there we go. The, it's not massively better and that was that was uh, so like the maximum oh so that one there is that one there so yeah with the uh, so assuming the third one the third best possible one i could have got at the time was only 11 percent better so basically i kind of did get about as good as i could get for when i got the computer which is so weird to think just in mid 2018 these were the best ones you could get and i got effectively one of the best ones i mean the the third one was 11 percent better which is not massively better like realistically that's that's negligible betterness. Okay, where is it? 8,400. So I got the 13th best one. And we got to the absolute maximum one. This one right here, which was the popular one. But I mean, this one probably would have cost, uh, it's, it's almost guaranteed, would have cost more. So 17% better. So, and overclock, I don't worry about that. So yeah, I mean, that's, because I mean, I'm still, like, I mean, this one here has been really good, because this one's got, uh, you know, I've got right now in that. But uh, honestly, it, it's pretty good, because it's really the, the best one at the time, it's crazy to think in 2018, these were like the best, like six cores, this is about as good as you can get, you know, it's crazy, like, because it's like, man, I wish I had a much better one, you know, because look at all the ones today, which are just a couple hundred dollars more, and like, insanely, well, like, you know, they're more cores and everything, but actually, in 2018, this was, th literally, this is as good as you could get, this is as good as you could get in terms of, like, the effective speed, which is generally these. So, obviously, the AMD ones for the 64 thing would be better in that. Oh, that one was, for that, hugely better in that. Uh, but it didn't have any more cores. It would have been more efficient. When, no, I'm surprised. There we go. Oh, so is oh, it's i7 in that. Oh, it's still the same amount of cores. But anyway, for the average score in that, 17% better. So, I mean... I, I, my, the best possible one I could have got was only 17% 17 better, which is not massive in the grand scheme of things, you know, I mean, it is, it is a significant increase in that, but I don't feel so bad having got the, I, the i5-8400, because it was one of the top, top 15 ones that possibly was available at the time, and who knows, that one might have been out of stock, I don't know, but as in, the best one possible was only 17% faster than the one I have. That just mind boggles me, because, I mean, nowadays they've got ones that are so much better. Like, it's just insane. Like, if we go now to the, like, the is it i9, here we go to the, not that one. I mean, technically that one, but this one here was the actually popular one. They were like this, there we go, boom. Only two more cores, and only 28% faster. I'm actually, yeah, that's not nearly as much as I thought, to be honest. That, I mean, that's not that much better. I mean, it's it's 30% now. You know, before it was 17%, so it's gone up, like, you know, to... Well, technically, it's double. That'd be 34, but technically, it's about 10% more. 11% more, which, from that. But, yeah, that's not actually... Although, that one there, that's, for streaming, it would be important. But for the average given user, a 28% increase over the course of two years. Although, that technically is only one year. But, yeah, but as in that then went to the date of the when I got the computer. But that's not massive. Although, no, I can't really compare it from then. Well, what was... Well, because I'm comparing it from what was available then versus now and that. But as in, there was only a year between them. Okay, let's go to this one here, which should be the absolute solid... Oh, 10 cores. Okay, this one here. Because this one here has just come out. There we go. 40% better. That's more like it. That's more like it. Again, it's still not huge. And still, and if tw effective speed 21%, that's not, like, that's over the, you know, like, that's almost, uh, it's two and a half years 
No, no, almost, wait, yeah, two and a half years, there we go, it's this, you know, and I mean, it is increasing, obviously, in that, and that is, that is significant in that, you know, but it's not as big as I thought, like, because uh, what's the, oh, there's like Moore's Law or whatnot, and so every two years or whatnot, you know, something every, yeah, f four years or something, it doubles or whatnot, but I mean, you know, it's not massive, massive increase, like, it's definitely going up, which is good in that, but it's not insanely faster, like, you know, like, and, you know, now it would be like my computer could do more than double the amount. Like it's not even double for the eight core in that. You know, for and for this here, for that it is double. So yeah, for live streaming it is double. So these things are huge. But for most people that don't live stream, these things are not very not as important in that. But anyway, I just thought that was very interesting. That you know, like actually it hasn't. It hasn't got, you know, that's like two and a half years later, and it's only this much faster than that, which is still good, but as in, it's not as much as I thought it would be, and having this, this right here, which is, it was actually about the best for its time, I don't feel so bad now, it's not like, man, I wish it had, like, one of these CPUs in there, because most of these CPUs didn't exist until after I bought my computer, so it's like, well, actually, this is about as, almost, not quite, it was about 17% better you could have got, almost as good as you could have got, like, when it came out, so, don't, don't feel so bad anymore. I guess, what, what about the case with GPUs in that? GPUs use, there we go, because reset in that, boom, and average months, yeah, look, all those ones there, look at those, look at them all, look at them all, oh, I know, those, no, that was, those ones actually are, okay, there we go, so, and we show prices, bam, and we go to 24, wait, no, okay, so how, there's 600 GPUs, okay, and then if we go to 24 months, like that, boom, as to how many, there we go, 600 and something, oh, it's so hard to get it exactly right, ah, uh, there we go, that'll do, Bam, there we go. Oh, wait, most of them are still out then. Oh, okay, never mind. Although, probably some of the better value ones. Boom. Oh, that didn't even change it. Probably lots of the better value ones came out more recently in that. Because I got, yeah, I got this one here, which was the sixth best. Although, no, the prices will have changed in that. But, yeah, and, and, and that one's lower anyway. That's lower. And these two are just a little bit higher in that, and that's lower in that. So actually, that was, again, a pretty good option for, for the GPU at the time. So, because, yeah, it's easy to think, man, I wish I'd got, like, look at these, look at these, you know, awesome, solid as, you know, see, that's those, so those last 39, you know, look at all, the, you know, like, that one there and all that, but as of the time, lots of those ones didn't actually exist. So anyway, yeah, like, all lots of, yeah, all of these, all of these, with the exception of that one, and that one, all of these, the top 10 best value ones, all came out after I bought my one. So, yeah. Anyway, that's going to wrap it up. I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. So, if you need a GPU, I'd go with this design. If you don't need a GPU, I'd go with this design right here. Yeah, again, I definitely, I just get this one. Just get this one already. Okay, I mean, yeah, just get that one. Like, even if you don't need a GPU, just get that one. That I just, I'm not very happy with that one, to be honest. Because it sort of, it starts to get to the point where actually... Getting an extra four terabytes of that, or getting an extra one terabyte of that, is not worth it. You might as well just be upgrading the GPU more and more and more. To, and with, because with this here is enough. That's more than enough RAM. This here is like SSD is more than enough SSD. You know, HDD, it's you know solid, solid, solid. You know, and so. And, and since I'm happy with this GP CPU, the only thing that's actually really, really beneficial to keep upgrading is the GPU. But this one doesn't have the option to upgrade the GPU. And we're effectively the most, we're the best CPU we can get, so we can't upgrade that anymore. And although, yeah, these can benefit, you know, from upgrades and that, it's not nearly as much as you get from upgrading the GPU. Like, that's massively beneficial. Whereas these here, it's sort of just, oh yeah, another 4 terabytes worth of storage. Which is not bad, but it's not nearly as beneficial as upgrading the GPU and that. This one here, there's just, uh, it wouldn't really help to upgrade that past that point. We can't upgrade that past this point, so then, like, we'll just be upgrading the SSD and HDD more and more and more and more and more, which are good upgrades, but not at nearly as necessary as was majorly beneficial. Anyway, that's going to wrap up this video. I hope you guys have a wonderful, beautiful rest of your day. I'll see you all next time. Coming back here, coming back here. There we go. And I'm here. Ciao. Goodbye for now, and I'll see you all next time. See you later.